singer and songwriter Sam Smith, who identifies as non-binary, shared the decision of the non-binary and transgender community on Twitter, writing, Today is a good day, so here goes. I have decided I am changing my pronouns to they and them. After a lifetime of being at war with my gender, I have decided to embrace myself for who I am inside and out. In subsequent tweets, the 27-year-old said, they are so excited and privileged to be surrounded by people who support their decisions. I have been very nervous about announcing this because I care too much about what people think, but it. The singer <laughs> continued, I understand that there will be many mistakes, misgendering, but all I ask is you please, please try. I hope you can see me like I see myself now. Thank you. Smith also addressed being non-binary, explaining that the community at, is at no stage yet to eloquently speak at length about what it means. But they can wait for the day that I am. So for now, I just want to be visible and open, he wrote. He said, but he can't wait for the day that he's able to talk about it. They stay with me, the Stay With Me singer also said that they would try their best to explain to those who have questions before concluding the thread by sharing the names of the activists and leaders in the non-binary and transgender community who have helped Smith and given them so much clarity and understanding. Smith's announcement, which has already been liked more than 9,000 times, has been met with an outpouring of support, love, and respect for you, Sam, one person wrote. Another said, we love you and we're so proud. In June, the singer told British GQ that until recently, they felt somewhere in the middle, but weren't sure how to explain it. Now, I think mm. um, this is a very safe space for people mm. who really can't tell who they are. Yeah. Some people, you see them and they have this feminine tendency and you kind of believe that, oh, this person must be gay. Mm. But some of them are not even gay. Some of mm. them do not even identify with a particular gender. Mm. So for people who are wondering, what is non-binary? Now, a non-binary person is someone that is just in the middle. Sometimes this person feels his masculinity mm, and sometimes he's in his feel. feminine... Not exclusively, yeah. exclusively yeah, female, female and not exclusively male. Mm. I would call Lady Gaga someone like that. Mm. Mm, yeah, because sometimes she tries to dress like a man. She has a masculine side. I can't remember the award last year that she went for that she wore the um, tuxedo, mm -hmm. the very large tuxedo dressing like a man. And she said she wanted to um, let go of her past. So I think Lady Gaga has some form of mask. Well, that's my opinion. Okay. She has not come out to say that <laughs> I'm non-binary. But these are people that really do not identify with any gender. They mm. don't, they, they're not male, they're not female. Unlike cisgenders, like we are cisgenders, yeah. like you're a woman, you identify mm -hmm. as a woman. I'm a man, I identify as, as a man. man. Mm -hmm. But they, they switch from time to time. In between, in they're, between. Just, they're yeah. not sure what they are sometimes, exactly. Yeah, sometimes they'll dress Oh, manly, and you'd be like, and it doesn't, ah, it doesn't have anything to do with your sexual orientation. They could yeah. be attracted to male, they could be attracted, attracted to, to female. female. I it think they are enjoying the best of both worlds, if you ask me. But you know? I would like to be non binary <laughs> anyway. I know I'm cisgender. <laughs> First time, sweet. I mean, I'm just really enjoying this old drama he has been bringing to the table. Like, style from him dressing like female, mm -hmm. and then he's like, he wants to be like this, wearing wig, his music videos, and I'm like, ooh, the I'm last enjoying award, it. The last award, he wore high heels. Yeah. Like, I'm like, wow. Proper eyes. <laughs> is and we make up and yeah. his attitude and all. And he said he has never been so comfortable coming out of the closet mm. in front of a lot of people. I think that was the first time he actually mm. felt to come. And I think this is the, that's off the back of what is going on now. That okay, there's now a community for L them. The LGBT. They, and I like the fact that they cannot eloquently speak on it, but they can't wait for when they, they can. They would be able and, to and speak they'll, about they'll keep, it. They'll keep fighting for it. I mean, for me personally, I think the I don't battle have... has been won. It's just for it's just encouraging more you people think, that come out. Of the I don't think their battle has been won because I mean, even in America, UK, wh wherever it is, they yes, have yeah, they people. still have homophobia. Like I mean, a lot of people are really still um, homophobic people and I don't think the battle they won the battle yet but I'm sure they are getting I think it's there. even in this part of the world that is worse because people hmm. can't stand imagine you can't that, even come out imagine that I'm it. saying sometimes I wear skirts you know, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bobrisky, for um, as an example, now I mean, every, yeah, anytime, like, yeah, Bobrisky. We can call Bobrisky non-binary. Should I tell you why? Why? When he's going to the police station, he's to dress like. Right. A man. <laughs> I don't know. To, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I think Bobrisky is not just that <clears throat> educated to understand all those things. But I think Bobrisky is actually non-binary because sometimes he tries to have this. Um, Female, chara yeah. uh, female character, female character, sometimes, sometimes. Jigger, I mean. <laughs>